Hello YouTube, the Saki Gamer here with another Minecraft tutorial. I've gotten a lot of requests about how to use teleporters in Industrial Craft, and I'm here to solve all of your worries. Today, we will be teleporting more efficiently and faster than Captain Kirk himself. Now, all of that was a lie. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's less efficient than Captain Kirk, and it's definitely not quite as cool. But we'll have some fun today, and hopefully you'll come out learning a thing or two about industrial craft teleporting. So let's go ahead and get started. In order to teleport an industrial craft, you need a few things. You need a massive amount of power. You need a frequency transmitter. You'll need, obviously, the teleporting devices. And you'll need something to teleport, such as yourself. So as you can see, I've already got a few things set up here. I've got some high voltage solar arrays set up and I have an MFSU set up that's full on power. Now I do want to make a quick note that while my previous tutorials were in a multiplayer environment, this specific tutorial is in a single player environment in creative mode, mainly due to the fact that I have restarted my multiplayer world from my cast on Twitch TV. And I am not yet up to the point where I can sufficiently provide a tutorial for teleporters right now. So what you're witnessing right now will all work the same. Don't even worry. Uh, if you try this in your own world, I am 25% sure that this will work exactly like I am showing for you. So like I said, I've already got my power set up. I've got my MFSU right here in the middle surrounded by solar arrays. I've also got the same setup over here. We've also got a snake. Menacing. Ooh. So, let's go ahead and set up the teleporter. The teleporter needs to be set up directly on the power output side of your MFSU. You do not want to connect it to cables. And the main reason you don't want to do that is because power teleportation requires quite a bit of power. If your teleporters are far enough, you will use the entire MFSU supply which is obviously not transferable through any type of cable. There is no cable in the world that can transmit 10 million EU in one go. So you do want to connect it directly to your power source. So we're going to go ahead and get these two set up. What you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to link these teleporters together with your frequency transmitter. In order to do that, it's simple enough. You right click on one teleporter. You right click on another, teleportation link established, easy enough. And in order to teleport, all you need is a simple redstone signal. So we're going to go ahead and set up a wonderful redstone button on either side using red alloy. I really love red alloy wire because it can connect to walls. Red alloy is very handy. That's of course from the red power 2 mod. We're going to use your standard button. So the buttons are connected. We have a red power, a redstone source going right into the teleporter. Hit the button and violin. We're here. We've teleported across the tiny little desert. And if you don't like the look of the teleporter, you might be using the vanilla texture packs or whatever. You can always put a block on top and bam. But that, my friends, is basically how teleportation works in industrial craft it's super easy not complicated at all and it's also very fun now you must keep in mind that it is not the most efficient way to travel as i said this requires a ton of power an incredible amount of power just using this one teleporter let's see if we can get back here before these things let's go ahead and dump these actually just using this one teleporter across the tiny little area we've used quite a bit almost a million EU just doing this little distance here so keep that in mind there's a very complicated formula you can find it on the industrial craft wiki on how much power it takes but if you just if you're a layman like me just think that you have enough power just Fill this to the brim and use it and hope that you have enough power at all times and you'll be good to go. Short distances shouldn't matter that much, um, but longer distances will matter quite a bit. 
But that's all I have for you today, folks. Hopefully you get your teleporting goodness going in your worlds, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. A uh, few little shout-outs here. We've got my Twitch channel every single Monday. I'm casting Minecraft at 3 o'clock Central Time on twitch.tv slash Talutha. And as always, follow me on Twitter, at SuckyGamers. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. Good game, and as always, stay sucky, gamers.